Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Infinity Evolved Reloaded Expert Mode! Hello, hello, hello. I am Zahite and this is my base. If you remember in the last episode we were working on a jetpack. Well, here it is. Reinforced Tier 3 jetpack. Armored. It's, uh... Yeah, obviously it's the third tier of the jetpacks available to us and I just throw it in here and power it up. Oh, I also powered up this battery pack so that we don't run out of power as often because this thing's really slow guys. I did go and make upgrades to make these all of my thermal expansion stuff signalum but it's slow. These things are really slow. So yeah, 400 per tick it puts in there and it holds 6 million. So anyways, there is that. In the last episode, we made this metal former, which I did go ahead and make the press for. And I've been just pressing plates. This is wonderful. Let me show you how this thing works, guys. So you take your ingots, whatever kind of plates that you need, you put them in there and just wait for it. Bam, look at that. Look at this. And it just makes plates. Oh, it's so good. Look at this. So we're automating plates, which is good, but I have some extra special news. If you come over here, you'll see I've got all of these things set up already to make all of the stuff for the reactor. I'm so excited about this reactor. Let's see. I do need some of these, uh, I thought I made, oh I did, I did, I did. I made a whole bunch of those iodine things here. I was put, taking buckets of water and putting them up here, mixing them with pulverized tin, and they should be in the extractor, yes. So here's the iodine balls that we need, and with this, and this, I can make these, which can go over here and make reactor chambers. Look at that, now we've got nine of them. Looks good. And then I take three of those to make the actual reactor itself with all this other stuff that I've already collected. There we go. There is our nuclear reactor. Yes, explosives are fun indeed. Okay, so let's put this over here. I can't put this down? Okay, well, we're gonna have to put a block down really quick. I think those things can only plunk onto the reactor itself. So let's just bust that out of there now. There we go. Put these on here like so. I don't wanna screw that up. There we go. Here's our reactor, guys. Yes. Now what we have to do is start and fill up. So I've got reactor plates here and I'll put a screenshot on the on the screen right now of what I think is the most uh the most useful way, the most uh I don't even know how to say it what I'm looking for. I'll put a screenshot of what I think is the best layout. I didn't come up with it, I just found it online, but now we're going to replicate it. So there's those platings. Now we need a bunch of motors. We take these motors and we put them in here, and that should make a bunch of heat vents. And the heat vents we need to put in here to make a bunch of reactor heat vents. And these we have to put in here to make a bunch of overclock heat vents. And now these things, uh, hang on. I think I still need to put these in here. Mm. Oh, we need more plates. Okay, hang on, hang on, I need more plates. Okay, so if I put these in here, and we put these in here, make a bunch more, wait, what? Oh, I need a bunch of iron bars still. I don't have any more iron bars. 
Not a problem. We have the technology to make iron bars. Okay. There we go. Now make a bunch of those. Put these in here. And that should make heat vents. Oh, I'm missing tin plates. There we go. And if I put those there, I should be able to make all of these heat vents. And now, all we got to do is finish the setup. So here and here, here, like that, and like that. Okay, so that should be it. That should leave me enough room for seven quad fuel rods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that is that. So now all we have to do is get our seven quad fuel rods, put them in there, and the reactor is up and operational. Great, I like it. Okay guys, so the next thing I want to show you, which is kind of a cool thing, oh, every time I walk under that cable it tries to kill me. I need to fix my base really bad, but... So these things are core sampling drills, and they're pretty neat, because let me show you what they do. You put it down in a chunk, and you hook it up to power. Like so. And then you turn it on. And you wait for it to drill. And you wait for it to come back up. And you click it. You get a core sample from the chunk. So it samples the chunk and tells you what's in there. This one just happens to be nothing. Nothing great. But there is a chance that when you do it, there's a bunch of minerals in there. Now this is an immersive engineering mod. Once you find the minerals, you can make this excavator machine. And it actually extracts the minerals out of the chunk. The only way to get those minerals that are found on these things out of the chunk is with immersive engineering excavator. So, I don't need this anymore. But I'll show you what I've done. I've gone into our mining dimension. And I've taken samples all over the place. You can take one per chunk. So I've taken a whole bunch. Of, look at them all. I've, I've done this whole area here on the map. Which you can't probably see. Oh yeah, you can. Look at this. So I've done this whole chunk. I've gridded it all out. Found what resources there are. And I put little pillars of wood by the ones that have something in them. So as you can see, most of them are empty. There's one there that had something. There's one, there's one. Uh, this one has bauxite. Okay, so there's all that fun stuff. Then here is the excavator that we've made. And the only way that I've been able to power it so far is to bring these HV capacitors from the main world over here. But it's super cool. Because look at all the resources we're getting. I've filled this thing up twice now, I believe. And this is all the resources that I've got from two full towers of power. But this power doesn't cost me anything. It comes from water wheels. So I just take the power, go to the base, hook it up, wait for it to fill. And yeah, we're getting uh, nickel, we're getting tin, we're getting a bunch of iron. And yeah, this is all just automatically grabbing us resources. So there's different ones here. This one's bauxite, like I said earlier, but I think this one over here is tin. So if we ever need tin, this one will just give me tin. Yeah, it's called cassiterite, cassiterite vein, but it's just tin. So yeah, I mean, if we ever need resources, here they are. Okay, so the next thing that I want to work on now is getting some quad fuel rod. I don't want to necessarily make it automatic just yet. I can do that later. But we do want quad fuel rods, uranium, 
So we're going to need a bunch of copper plates, a bunch of iron plates, fuel rods, which we can already make with the enriched uranium. Wait, where's my... Where is my suit? Huh. Wait. My suit is supposed to be right here, but uh, it is definitely not. So I'm going to have to go ahead and make another one of those really quick. We'll be right back, guys. So I made a new suit. Tried to place it down with the armor stand. My armor stand wouldn't go down. So I left the game, reloaded, and now it looks like everything is here. <laughs> so now we've just got a spare suit, which, I mean, whatever. We have a spare suit. That's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one on for now. And we need a bunch more uranium ore, so let's go ahead and put a bunch more uranium ore in for processing. Oh yeah, I needed a macerator. Okay guys, so I don't want to make a macerator just yet. I'm going to put this in the rock crusher instead. Okay, so a macerator isn't that hard to make. We're going to whip a macerator up real quick. I think I have some crushed obsidian already. Somewhere. Don't I? Maybe not. Doesn't matter. We will have it soon. Okay, so I've got the ore washing machine automatically sorting stuff out, putting stuff into the thermal centrifuge. Great. And I will also get up this macerator set up here really fast. Let's take those. What else did we need for the macerator? Cobblestone. One of those. An electric circuit. Easy peasy. So let's get two cobblestone. Oh, I think that was two stacks of cobblestone I just took. There we go. Let's take that. I'm going to need one of these. One of these. There we go. Let's just plunk that together. Nice. Okay, so now we should be able to put, yes, okay, now we should be able to put all the stuff in the macerator. It'll auto-eject it into there. Perfect. I'll have to get an auto-ejector upgrade, which I think is this, which really isn't that hard to make, so that's fine. We'll do that. And it'll eject into there. This is already doing its thing. We're going to have to get a system set up for all the stuff that gets centrifuged. And then we're going to have to get something to collect all the cans. Or the casings, whatever. Fuel rods. But we can start making those right now with a bunch of iron plates and the metal former. So let's go do that. If I have... I got some iron plates. I should have more. Let's go do a quick check. Steel. Iron. Okay, let's make a stack of fuel rods for now and extrude. There we go. That should make iron plates. And I'm going to have to find a way to auto craft because I'm not sure how to do it right now. But we will figure it out. So once we have the auto crafting set up, then all we've got to do is put those in there and this. And it will print us out some fuel rods. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Once we get four of those, we just need a bunch of plates, which we can start getting going. I think I still have a bunch of iron. Let's just get a bunch of this stuff going. How much? Okay. So let's go and put these on over here. OK. 
because we need all of the plates, please. There we go. Also, guys, I just noticed haste. You see this? Fortune's favor is an enchant bauble that gives you extra mining speed and more drops from ores. So it's kind of like a fortune. It's like kind of like a fortune thing, as well as a haste thing. So you can mine faster and increase drop chances. My brother actually gave this one to me. He was running around in the mining dimension and found a couple of them. So he kept one for himself and then he gave me one, which is super cool. And yeah, so there's that. And anyways, guys, I am going to... Looks like we're running a little bit low on power over here. It's probably these cables. These cables probably can't transport enough energy. So we're gonna have to deal with that. Once we get that running, we can run these machines off of it. I think somehow, again, I'll have to play with how we're gonna convert the power because we definitely cannot just run the power straight into here. We're gonna have to downgrade it somehow or all the machines are gonna explode. So anyways, that's future Trevor's problem. We're going to just continue with the I guess I could have kept all this stuff. I'm just going to continue with getting all this stuff set up and automated and working properly. And yeah, you guys don't need to see that. So that's what I'll be working on here until we see you again next time. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment below with what you want to see me working on next, and we'll see you next time.